This one's great because most people here share my passion for World War II. I find this to be like the best three-day primer on World War II that you could possibly get anywhere in the world. It's broad-ranging, it's kind of introductory, but also he can get very much in depth if you want to. And the speakers have been very available afterwards uh, to go more in depth into individual questions. The books that the that they're providing, the summaries that they're they're doing with the lectures, is absolutely invaluable. And I take this research back to my students and show them clips from the conference and share them the stories from the books. And we now have a lot of World War II historians in high schools. It's not only an opportunity to meet other historians, but. All of these people are highly engaged, they're very interested in the topic material, so it's, it's frankly just a lot of fun to talk with them because they're all very enthusiastic too. Well first of all the museum is fantastic, never got a chance to see that before. My father had been there before and loved it so we figured we'd come down here and enjoy it together as a father-son bonding experience. By hearing it from the academics and hearing it from the people who have fought the war, they'll learn the importance of standing up and protecting this country, serving this country when necessary and to understand that your grandpa may be an American hero. It's not all Pattons and Eisenhowers and MacArthur. Grandpa fought. Grandpa did something great too. I think it's really important for young people to know about history because it's something of our past and if, of course if we don't learn it about it, it we're doing to repeat it. And unfortunately, you know, World War II is something that we're quickly losing all of uh, that greatest generation and we don't want to forget the lessons that were learned and the, the actions that were taken. 